Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and welcome to this week's Motoring News. BMW has revealed the new M4 convertible, the fifth generation open top car to bear the M badge. Powered by the same 431 bhp six cylinder engine as the M4 coupe, it will get from 0 to 62 in 4.4 seconds with the optional seven speed M double clutch transmission. Despite having more equipment, it's around 60 kilograms lighter than the outgoing M3 convertible and features a three part metal roof that can open fully in just 20 seconds. Sales kick off in September with prices starting from just over £60,000 on the road. With Auto China 2014 opening its doors this week in Beijing, we take a look at a few of the show cars with star potential. Citroen will reveal its DS 5LS R concept, a luxury saloon fitted with lightweight carbon fiber components to maximize the performance from its 300 bhp 1.6 liter turbo petrol engine. Bentley will pull the covers off its Mulsanne based hybrid concept. The luxury car maker's first ever hybrid uses copper as a styling element to highlight its electrical veins, which endow it with an emissions free electric only driving range of 50 kilometers. Finally, Infinity will premiere a short film of the Q50 Eau Rouge development prototype being put through its paces by Director of Performance and Formula One World Champion Sebastian Vettel. The Coupe Cabriolet is the latest Renault Megane to receive a new front end, following in the footsteps of the hatch, coupe and ST models. Available with a choice of three engines, one petrol and two diesel, it now comes equipped with the R-Link connected in-dash multimedia system as standard. The revamped Coupe Cabriolet still lays claim to the segment's largest panoramic glass roof, coupled with a fixed glass wind deflector to minimise turbulence. On sale now, prices start from £23,800 on the road. Audi has confirmed that the all-new TT will be available from launch with a choice of three four-cylinder direct injection turbo engines with power outputs ranging from 184 to 310 PS. There will be two versions, a TT and a TTS, with the latter delivering a provisional 0-62 time of 4.7 seconds when fitted with the optional six-speed S-Tronic transmission. Under the skin, the revised Quattro all-wheel drive system can now temporarily deactivate to improve efficiency, while in the cabin, the driver is greeted by an all-digital Audi virtual cockpit. Top Mark's Monaco is set to return this week for its 12th year. Predominantly a supercar show, it also features luxury goods from other sectors, including high-end watches, state-of-the-art superboats and even a 24-karat gold lingerie set. VIP guests can drive some of the world's most exclusive hypercars on the famous Monaco F1 street circuit. From the Spagna GTA to the 700 horsepower Mazzanti Avantra. The sky's the limit at Top Marks Monaco, and it's only a short hop from the UK if you grab a ride in the 007 branded Augusta Westland helicopter. Ducati has announced details of its latest Diavel Sports Cruiser motorcycle. Along with styling tweaks for a muscular and assertive look, it features a new 162 bhp Tester Stretter engine, ABS, traction control, Ducati riding modes and a new exhaust system. On sale now, priced from £14,000, the Diavel is finished in a dark stealth livery, while the carbon edition, costing £3,000 more, offers the choice of traditional Ducati red over matte carbon. That's all we've got time for, but we'll have more motoring news next week.